Good morning, everyone. This is Melanie from Light Beams Treasures and Curiosities, bringing you another What's Sold on eBay video. Now, this particular video is going to highlight both Monday and Tuesday, the 27th and the 28th. If you like my content, then you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and throw me a comment. You know I love hearing what you sold, what happened in your world of eBay, and we can grow our business together. So now Monday, I have to admit, was a lousy day. I mean, I didn't even do a video simply because I sold one item and one item only. That particular item was actually a gift from my mom. She said I could sell it, which I was going to keep it, but she's like, no, sell it, see what you can get. And what they were were Thai little beanie baby boos in boxes. So they're the plastic uh, vinyl form of Thai in a little blind box. I did a collection of all five based on the colors. I sold them for $12. She paid a dollar each for them. It was $4. Made a little profit, sold 12, but at least I sold it, got a little extra money. So that was very nice. So I have to say, thanks mom for the gift. But she specifically did it because she wants to know whether it can be sellable. We'll see what happens. So that was it for Monday. Bad day. But Tuesday, I feel so much better because now the numbers are coming back up and it doesn't make me feel so bad because I was thinking that this week was going to be terrible. So after such a good weekend. So let me go on to what I sold. First item, and you know I love the fact that I sell these. I sold another powder room sign. This makes 13 of them that I sold already. You know I had about 75 of them. This is number lucky number 13 that I sold. And I sold this for full asking price for $14, which is really nice. So let me show you that total. It's lucky number 13. We sold 13 of them. I only paid $10 for 75 signs. I sold this for $14, bringing my total to $146 just for a $10 investment. Slow sale, but it's working. The next item that I sold was my lucky air fresheners. And that's the funny thing. My husband told me, why am I keeping these? You know something? I am almost completely done with these. I This is the Tommy flavor. I am completely sold out of Tommy. And I only have one more packet, one more set of cool water. Although I do have a bunch of the pine. And pine is not necessarily my favorite scent either. But I do have a bunch of pine and I have eternity left. But only one set of cool water. So this particular one sold for my famous $9.99 for the pack. But I want to show you this list because if you remember, I bought three carts for $28 at Dirt Cheap. Sold all these items. Sold all these items, including the air fresheners. And that was the last air freshener, which comes out to $291.91. And that was on a $28 investment. And you know something? I still have more air fresheners. I still have more Lakers flags. I still have more whiteboards. So you know something? Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. This one is going to be going. Yes, it's a slow sale. But you know something? Slow and steady wins the race. And the fact that all these little sales add up, that's what's bringing me cha-ching. So the next thing I sold, ooh, we get to go to the cosmetics cart. Remember those three cosmetic carts that I bought for $28? So the first item I sold was, dun dun dun, hair dye. This is nice, cute, blonde hair dye. It is a two-pack of Garnier Fructis, Nutris. And this is a delightful golden blonde color. Sold this baby for $15. And the second item I sold in that pack was not a one pack, but a two pack of, yes, 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 those belly patches, these lovely belly patches from Yes. I sold 10 of them and it was a two pack. They paid $17.98 and that's going to one person. Look how light, that's going to be very, very light to ship. And I got $17.98 for those. So let's bring that total because this one is really, really an exciting card. And I told you, I'm going to be filling this baby up. So, so far, this is only the eighth item I sold from that list. And that was the hair dye and the belly patches. We've made a total of 
$167.95 on a $28 investment. That is so good. I am so happy on that. Now, you know, I'm also the book queen, so of course I'm going to be selling books. And I just want to show you a couple of these books because they are awesome. The first one is The Complete Book of Chinese Health and Healing. I actually personally love this book. It's in great condition. Um, it looks like I never read it, but I used to read this all the time when I was in massage school. This particular book I sold for $9. I was a little upset that I parted with it, but you know something? I have so many other books. This one is a very good basic book for starting traditional Chinese medicine. The second book I sold is <gasps> On Making and Mending Dressing Dolls by Clara Hallard Fawcett. This particular doll making, $8 book, and it's cute little pictures on how to mend doll clothes. The next one I have to be careful with because the, uh, the dust jacket is coming off. It's an old book. It's called Autumn Across America by Edwin Way Teal. And um, this particular book I sold for $15.99. And then the next and last book I sold was a two-pack of books by Joel Gross. It's the Book of Rachel and the Lives of Rachel from the Bible, religious books. These sold for $12 for the pack. And I sold two more items. This I ended up getting on an online auction. I paid $7. It was a two-pack of Funko Pop t-shirts. I already sold the first one for $14. This is the second one. I sold the second one for $12. The fact that I only paid $7 for two of them and then I pretty much double my money for both of them makes me really happy, but that's a Doctor Strange Funko Pop t-shirt. And then the last item, I just bought this cart on Monday and I think I actually need to start a new list. I did go to Dirt Cheap on Monday. I bought a $10 cart and the cart had a mishmash of things. It really wasn't anything specific, but one of the things in the in the cart was actually a set of wooden puzzles, and it was a, a large set. I'm able to get three sets of four that I have three different auctions, and just to show you, it's a 3D wooden puzzle of a turtle, of a seahorse, of a pirate ship, and of a shark. You could build them, you could paint them, you could put them together, easy assemble. If you notice, they used to be $3 each at Target. There was a stack of these thrown in a dirt cheap cart that I paid $10 for. I just sold this pack for dun, 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 $14.99. These are super light, gonna throw them in a padded envelope, just ship them off and they should be good. And that, my friends, was Tuesday sale, so I'm really happy Tuesday picked up because it made up for Monday being, but I just want to go over something because I think this is exciting. I just started selling on Macari in March, okay? For the month of March, I only sold six items, which to me, that's fantastic. It's like, hey, just started a new thing. Um, let me see how this goes. Well, now I'm actually mimicking my um, auctions and um, copying them to Macari uh, a little at a time. I try to stick to the themed items, the geeky items, the stuff. I don't necessarily put books, although I did put a couple of those brand new uh, educational books on Macari, but I'm staying away from putting books on Macari or certain items on Macari. But I can't believe I've already sold 34 items on Macari for the month of April. I am super excited about that. I, I mean, I know we only have one more day left in April, but the point is I am doing so well in Macari. But the thing I have to focus on for myself with Macari is A, you are not going to get paid right away. You will get paid three days after they receive it with then an additional two more days after that for direct deposit. So basically prepare on five days after they receive it. Because the postal system is very lagging right now and slow, it could take anywhere from 3 to 15 days just for them to receive the items to begin with. So that's something I'm very carefully keeping a watch on when it comes to Macari. And one of the things that I'm doing with Macari 
is I am keeping it in a separate account. That's number one. And number two is I'm always, every time, um, cause I don't necessarily do a, de um, cut the deposit as soon as I get paid. What I'll do is I will do it in even increments. So once I make $10 on Macari, which pretty much is one or two sales, once you make the $10, you can instantly withdraw it out. I like to do it in nice even numbers, so pretty much I leave the change in, I leave, so I'll do increments of like $10, $15, $20, $25, stupid increments like that, and let it build up as the auction goes on. And I wanna personally see if I could set it up where I do a debit every single day, similar to what I have with eBay. If I could get on an everyday cycle making a debit from Macari, then hey, that would be amazing. But I would love to hear what your opinions are of Macari. I'm still brand new, still learning, but the fact that already I've sold 40 items in only one month, a month and a half time, because I wasn't even on it for the full month of March. Only started in March, in April, so hey, 40 items, that's a great deal. That's a little over one item a day, but I'm gonna keep building up my Macari and have both my uh, eBay, my Macari, and now I started that secondary eBay store strictly of toys. But that particular store is going to take a while to build up. But I want to hear, what are you doing? How successful are you? What works? What doesn't work? If you like my content, throw me a line on the bottom. Until then, everyone, I want you to stay safe, stay healthy, continue sourcing, continue putting your items up for sale, and continue the successes that are happening through this time. Take care, everyone.